Hello fellow Sim Racers, this is Sim Racer and welcome to episode 24 as we continue with our review of the Rise of Pack. A little bit different, uh, perhaps because we're actually bringing you races of the cars that you get within the Rise of Pack. So, included in the Rise of Pack is Virginia International Raceway in all of its configurations so you've got uh, several different uh, configurations the VIR uh, East I believe it is or Grand East is a monster of a course uh, where the uh, standard uh, VIR which we're racing on today is a bit shorter and a, a bit faster uh, thanks to that very very long stretch backside of the track. So we are looking at the MCR Sports 2000. And uh, you know in real life I don't know much about the car but I can tell you this that in the Ryza pack it is just a superb car to drive. Very very well behaved, very planted, very difficult to actually get the car to go sideways for to cause the car to lose grip. Now in this particular race, I dialed up a maximum amount of competitors, which is 48. I started in the 48th position, with meaning I had 47 competitive AI cars to pass, 12 lap race. And I had dialed back the AI a bit after doing a couple of uh, practice runs because I wanted to see if I could go from dead last to first place in those 12 laps. And um, it, I have to tell you that it was really a lot of fun that for pretty much this entire race, I'm in traffic. And that is always fun when you're uh, uh, constantly in traffic, you have to constantly pay attention, and you definitely has your uh, focus. Now, this particular uh, race, the 12 laps, because VIR is quite a long track, took well over 25 minutes. But don't worry. I'm not going to make you sit here or ask you to watch 25 minutes of me running the uh, 2000 around VIR. Uh, this actual video has been cut down to 11 minutes and 30 seconds and uh, the purpose of that is hopefully not to bore you but at the same time to give you a good taste and a good feel for how much fun it is to race the MCR Sports 2000. VIR poses some interesting challenges because it is, I think, a very high speed track with most of the turns being high speed turns. There's a few turns that you, you end up slow, you know, they're a little bit slow. Uh, certainly uh, the first right-hander uh, after the start finish line. And here we are, we're on the straight. The big monstrous never-ending straight that seems to go on forever and you can really pick up some speed on here and then at the top of the hill at the end of the straight you've got immediately into a right hand uh, pretty good uh, radius turn that immediately slams back into a left-hander short to uh, shoot down and then very easy to overdrive that that right-hander right there uh, and you get a kind of a double right-hander and then you're back up onto uh, the uh, front stretch so at the end of lap two i was at position 40 and 48 field and here you can see that we've jumped forward to lap 4.1 and i am in position 30. Uh, previously on uh, another uh, racing video that I did uh, for the Rise of Pack or for R Factor 2. I commented that R Factor 2 is one of the few racing sims that shows your progress in labs in tenths so that uh, when you 
as you're going through the, the race, you kind of get a feel for uh, where you actually are in, in the lap. Uh, that's a feature that I personally like and, and actually enjoy. And where are we at here on the track? Oh, oh, well, I jumped forward to lap 4.8, and I lost two positions, and I'm in position 32 now. Uh, the AI uh, in our factory, I mentioned this uh, also previously, um, it, uh, it gives you a race. It gives you good competition. And just because you pass a car doesn't mean that uh, you're going to, uh, the AI car is not going to come back and challenge you. Position 14, we've already jumped up to lap 7.2. So we're moving through this fairly quickly. Uh, there are some AI programs out there in some sims that when you make a pass or you make an overtake on uh, an AI car, the AI car pretty much just gives up and will just follow you around the track once you, you've made the overtake. Not the case in the R Factor 2 and the R Factor 2 AI. The uh, AI, you will be challenged throughout the entire race and um, I guess I can let the, let, let the cat out of the bag here I had really dialed down the uh, strength of the AI to see if indeed I could uh, run through this huge field and somehow manage to win this race and uh, you can see that uh, in lap 7 as I headed towards lap 8, I have managed to move into the 14th position. But you don't want to set a wheel wrong when you're doing this. You definitely have to pay attention. And uh, my typical goal, of course, as I've mentioned many times, is to run as clean a race as I can. And we jump forward to uh, position 3 at lap 10.2. So you can tell that um, I probably got a pretty good chance of going from last position to first. Uh, and I forgot my train of thought of what I was talking about. Uh, and here we go around the great big maple tree that's not there in our factory too. Um, I do believe in I racing that uh, the big maple tree that uh, is still in the I racing uh, VIR track. Um, it was several years ago, uh, maybe about four or five years ago, that that, that uh, big maple tree uh, it finally needed to be finally needed to be taken out, and it was removed. And now I'm trying for that second spot. Sitting here, kind of watching myself, see if I can get it. Uh, as we're on to the straight. I don't have to check my settings because I'm not sure if you can set uh, uh, enhanced drafting um, in the sim. Um, I don't think I get a lot of drafting action uh, right now with where I have my settings, but uh, might be able to increase that, I'm not sure. The, uh, and that could also be part of the fact that the uh, MCR Sports 2000 is uh, a car that is very equal. I mean, uh, you, don't, you don't see, whoa, I get the, uh, bounce that one through that turn through the S's. Is, yeah, that's a tight section of the track right there. You, you, come off uh, the start line and, and uh, then you go down the, this is a fast section of the track uh, that uh, is fun to drive and the MCR 2000 it handles it just beautifully. It just it, it goes through S curves and, and turns just on a dime and as I said it's very difficult for you to lose control of this car. Yeah, that's not saying that you can't, um, but the car really sticks and uh, it's really fun to drive as now I am fighting for first place 
uh, like a scream up the rise at the end of the straight, and I make it stick. Yeah, that was really kind of fun. So this was really a fun race for me in the fact that I did go from the 48th position all the way to first place and did win the race. A uh, combination of, of course, uh, pretty, uh, what do I want to say, basic AI setting or uh, a lower strength level of AI. Uh, nonetheless, um, because now we're, I'm on lap 11. It it took 11 uh, full laps to get from um, at last place all the way up to first. And uh, it was a fun race to do it. And as I said, it took me 25 minutes to, to do it. Actually, I take that back. It was on, on the final lap that I actually made that final pass for first place. Hey, this is Sim Racer. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Till then, enjoy your sim racing pursuits.